Salutations, everyone, and welcome back to Vanilla Hearts of Iron 4. I'm your host, Mr. National China Lover. And right now, this isn't where we left off. It's December 6th, 1941. What happened around this time? Hmm, did Japan do an oopsie against certain islands? Yes, they did. Now America's in the war against the Japanese, which is great for us. Uh, we're just kind of hanging out, and actually, we, because of that, they've, the Japanese have... Uh, actually... Truth be told, the Japanese attacked the Philippines, which got America into the war about a month ago, in November. And then they diverted their soldiers away. And then we're like, okay, we see them. We see they are open. Uh, let's go kill them. Because why not? Yeah. We cut off 1.3 million. The allies are at war with them, which is fine, whatever. And we've lost about 1.8 million to them. So overall, I think this is a pretty good win so far. Um, yeah. As you can see, we've all Korea. We literally have almost all of Korea right now. We've got some comms to go through, including ones that says... Uh, Japan will demand Indochina, or, you know, Vietnam, Southeast Asia, which is completely true. So I did get a couple of our own divisions, and a lot of Guangxi clique divisions as well. So, yeah. There they're out. And apparently the UK invaded there, so go figure. Uh, we have some motorized. Nice. 1941. We're good there. A couple things we do need to think about. Better planes. We're going to need some naval bombers. We're going to need some ships, because where we're headed, we're going to industrialize extremely hard, if possible, now. I love infrastructure, but we need more civvies. We're going to keep well, at least one on civvies, at least one on infrastructure, and at least one on millies. Oh, there goes another division. Beautiful. So, yeah, we're doing definitely A-OK. -okay. Now we probably get rid of you guys. Sure, goodbye. And Manchukuo is gone. Manchukuo is gone. We started off this campaign, or this episode, I should really say, with killing off Manchukuo. We love it. And actually, Germany did start the war against uh, the Soviet Union, which is not going great for them. Well, that's supposed to be historical. That's one thick Bulgaria. I love that. I love that so much. Anyways, um, anything here we really care about? Not too much. We has to be good for ship stuff, for naval stuff. But at this point, I kind of want to go ahead and not do any of this stuff. Actually, war bonds are very, very, very good. But it hurts our war support, which is fine, whatever. Really, and our industrial evacuations, we don't need to do that since we're doing okay. I want to integrate Guangxi. I think that'd be a great thing to do. Uh, we got some forced loans, of course. The merchants and industrials have amassed incredible riches in the period of relative peace. It is surely not too much to ask for them to make part of that wealth available for the government in these desperate times, with the promise of prompt repayment as soon as the situation permits. Um, so, right now, that does give us some low inflation, which is not great. War of anti-imperialism, though. It must be true at war with these guys. Oh, actually, if we do this one, um, we can probably do this one later, actually. Let's, let's save that. Daily support for unaligned goes down. Well, we are only unaligned. Land reform, let's do this one. Land tax reform. Our finances are in desperate need of reform. Part of that is the need for broadening our tax base. Because honestly, with this, um, we really shouldn't feel too bad about this at all. So, when does the peace deal fire? Since we technically already have all of Korea. Uh, Chinese power struggle will integrate Guangxi clique and get rid of our divisions so we can eat them all. But after this. Hmm. We need a little bit more political power so we can take out the good old Tibetans. I'm thinking we'll probably go to war with the Soviet Union too, just because we can. Because that's what I normally do when in a Chinese campaign. Because why not? Well, we got rid of Japan. Except for down here. Um, honestly, let's call them to arms now. And they're going to go in, and then they should literally have no... Well, good job, Raj. And we've taken it. Japan offers peace. Japanese officials approach us with a peace offer. They'll leave the continent altogether in return for an immediate cessation of hostilities. Nice. The war's been won. Is that it? Is that... What? Korea gets freed. What? 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 Why? I don't want to give them their freedom. We could just end the campaign here right now, but it would be kind of boring if we did. Uh, Force loans. The merchants and industrial... Oh, that's the exact same thing. So basically, you get stable economy, helps your inflation. New stability and war support, which does kind of suck, so... I don't think it'd be a good idea. We could probably do this, and do this. So basically, we're at peace in 1942 now. I don't like that... Uh, Korea is completely independent. I really don't like that. Mm, there you go. Anything over here? Not really, no. So if that's the case, we're at peace for now. I don't think Tibet has an army, and we only have one ship, so Hutian, you probably lost quite a th few things earlier, yeah, but you got a little bit of skill, so just train until you die. And we'll take out Tibet. Ooh, industrial evacuation. Okay, so did... What? Huh. I do want to take out the Soviet Union, though. I think that would be really good for us, just because 
It'd be a lot of fun. That's why. And we have a cup of coffee to keep us nice and warm. And 42, though. Yeah, we can make that the goal. I mean, we could go to war with the allies. We could go to war with other people. But, like, I think the Soviet Union would be a great goal to achieve. And for, or we just go back to war with Japan. That's also a very good goal as well. So, ship-wise, we are lacking so many ships. This is really bad. Holy cow. Oh, my goodness. Uh, as much as I love roads, we're going to need more than just roads here. Um, do three and then get one on Millie's. Okay, that's not Millie's. Uh, there you go. Do that if you can. Ireland joined the Allies. Good job, guys. Good job. I know you love the Allies a whole bunch. And it's really bad around here, but whatever. No one cares. Just build up a lot of infrastructure. Because I would like to have some sort of fleet. I would like to reinvade Japan. Sam. Well, I guess I am joined. Too bad I can't get them either. Oh, well. Oh, wait. We still. Wait, why can't we build in Korea? Wait. What? This is bugged, isn't it? It's an occupied state. Japan has a war goal against China. But this is Korea, though. Which shouldn't exist, technically. We still get 1.41 political power every single day. But this is a good, really good opportunity for us to actually just, like, get a lot more stuff done. Get some research done. Get some great war tanks. Get some interwar bombers, light bombers, stuff like that. Uh, unemployment assistance? Low inflation. Increases inflation, huh? I want that extra research slot, so. Unemployment should never reduce a citizen to poverty and destitutiveness. Hunger's the best ally of the communists. And they'll probably do some forced loans eventually. But that's alright. So after that one, uh, relief to get more war support. Uh, uh, we do need to get down here as fast as we possibly can. But... Hmm. From a road. We have to... Uh, huh. Can we not get down here? Hmm. Mission to Germany, no. Von Falkhausen, huh? Ooh. Mission to France. UK exists. It's not capitulated. It's peace with China. Okay, we can raise, increase relations. It's just because we don't have good relations with them? Yeah, it must be because of that. Because that, getting down here is going to be super important. Build a carrier. Well, we want to do that, so. Oh! Oh, we integrated them. Okay, I'm like, wow! Wow! Convert them to the division. And then take that many guys and throw them right there. Calls for war against Tibet. Pretty normal. Pretty normal stuff. 1, 2, 3. Can you do 14? Can you flush them out? Nice. Can you do this again? Uh, 10 might be cutting a bit much. There you go. And now we're good. It's all except for 1. There you go. You've got some big shoes to fill. We flush out the entire army now with the standard division that we've been using the entire time. While well, you guys are going to go over here and don't suck it up. Nice. Um, infantry experts, you are the field marshal, so we'll wait for that stuff. Uh, 44 divisions over here. Gonna make the game a little bit laggier just because these divisions do make the game lag. So, well. Can you, like, not beat the Axis early? Oh my god, America. You just, just gobbled middle Germany. Okay, so I want this to be a little bit more historical. Uh, I don't want them to win immediately. That's not good for us. I want to... Why do these ships suck? Less heavy attack? Oh, there's no point in doing that. You get more naval research speed, though. It's like a bad phone. Uh, um, hmm. Well, then. Some more stability, maybe? Still building our industry up. Unemployment assistance is nice. Oh, we need to go to America. Yeah. Uh, not sure. Yeah, it's a little low for now. Under this one, fighter purchases. How, how fast can we get down to here? Go to boom, 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 maybe. Oh, but you gotta go boom, boom as well. This would help with stuff here too. Investment into shipbuilding. A large fleet requires a large industrial base to support it. We should invite foreign investors to help us build up our dockyards. We get some naval XP, which is nice. But is that really what we need right now? A chicken say. Nice. Three days left, that's not too bad. Let's get a cup of coffee another comment. Someone says, I should do achievement campaigns. Do you want me to hate myself and kill myself? No, thank you. I know Dune Hammer Gaming and a lot of other people do that too. And I'm like, I did that back in my younger days. Wow, this Raj is looking really good. I did achievement campaigns back in my younger days when I, on PS3 and PS4 going for trophies. And I'm past that stage of my life, so I apologize. I would love to, but at the same time, I don't have, I literally don't have time for that. I, I could, but I, I, I don't want to rip my hair out. I really don't. So, I already ripped my hair out a whole bunch anyways. What the?
Relief, re uh, Refugee Relief Agency. With the upheaval of the war, millions have been made homeless. We could create an agency system finding a new place to stay. Yes. War songs, we're definitely going to do that one. We're just going to war the bet. America. America, what's wrong with you? It's just a bet. Honestly, even the Germans capitulate, like, my god, America, stop it. Stop it. Nice. Honestly, uh, I don't know how long this campaign's going to... Uh, this campaign's not going to last long, is it? Alright, so you guys... Do that. I want the Mongolian boys. Mongolian boys need to be under us. Ooh, early ship hold, nice. Very nice. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll do the force loan thing. It's fine with this. So we'll go to war with them. Mm. Oh my god, Italy. Why are you so incompetent? America's very strong. Like, my goodness, they're very, very strong. Actually, can we send volunteers to Germany? You know what? That'd be kind of funny. Oh, we cannot. We're not allowed. What? We're not allowed to send volunteers. What the heck? Oh, now we can do stuff here. You piece of garbage. America. Um, honestly, it would be fast to go here, 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 here. Because you could go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Or you go 1, 2, 3. We need the hump. Where do we hump? Oh, it's over here. Oh. Which means, oh my gosh, never mind. We have to, well, it's probably best to go that way. Pain me, this focus tree is so old. Like, at the time of this recording, it's been, it's been three years since Wicked the Tiger actually came out. And I didn't realize how bad <laughs> these focus trees are compared to, like, what we have in modern day. My gosh, this guy is level 9 attack. He is an ch absolute chad. Wow. Who's giving a speech? Order the day 8. Well, why are we... What? It's, it's, it's not D-Day. It's 1942. Why do we get that? It's not 1942 yet, man. <laughs> there ain't no American D-Day. What, what happened to the Force Alone thing? There it goes, okay. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Got plenty of manpower though. It's pretty nice. Mm, got plenty of support equipment for now. Anti air, we need quite a bit more of that. Uh, naval bombers are going to be super, super necessary. Wow, yeah, I'm the Axis is dead. Um, I guess really for the rest of the campaign, I guess we'll focus on the Soviet Union daddies. I guess. We got plenty of manpower. Germany really doesn't. Wow. Well, since we're here, might as well work on this. NBIS. This might be one of the shortest vanilla campaigns I would have ever had. Just because this is a bit ridiculous. Nice. Nice. Early ships? Nope. Honestly, get rid of that garbage. It's all garbage. Refugee relief? Well, only if America cancels the stupid focuses again. Okay, right, this is kind of pushing them out, but then France is doing pretty darn terrible as well. Italy's doing Italy's doing pretty darn well as well, which is kind of, hmm. Hmm. 936 cruisers? I'm okay with 36 cruisers. That's okay. We have a lot of these guys here, too. Which is good and all, don't get me wrong, but still. Hmm. We need 80 divisions for this, but we do have 88, so. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. Refugee relief? God dang, Americans. I just want dockyards. And to kill off communists, but Mostly dockyards. Cruiser hold. Oh, we can't make the identity. Get the armor. God dang it. Ah, uh, refugee, refugee. Uh, America, please, please don't piss us off. We'll make sure we don't piss you off as well. We're 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 a peaceful nation. Oh, we don't like them. Makes sense. Why did they cancel non-aggression pack? What would we do to you? Jimmy's still holding out. We could use a slight bit of uh, um bauxite. Bruh. Is, are the allies going to attack us? They might. They actually might. might. Okay, that's not good. Um, do that. That's good enough. Lots of millies, lots of civvies. Keep working on this intelligence agency stuff. Another comment was, Someone's been waiting for a Chinese rub. I think they really mean a Chinese campaign. But you know what? I'm sure you can go find a Chinese rub somewhere too. If you really want. They're not hard to find. Let's see. Someone says, uh, I should play Germany with no step back releases. Oh, I'm already planning. I'm, I'm, I'm planning on that one, definitely. I'm definitely going to be playing. When No Step Back releases for the DLC, um, I'll be playing as Germany at least once. I'll probably play as Poland, maybe? We'll see. Maybe Poland. Maybe. Uh, that, that's the stuff in the air. We're definitely going to play the Soviet Union like four different times at least. And anyone else that might get some slight changes, especially reworks of 
uh, logistics and stuff like that. Maybe even China once again, just to see what it's like. Just because the logistics system with railroads and stuff like that and supply hubs will be very interesting. Maybe there's a Japanese as well. Maybe to try it out. So, um, no guarantees, but I do. I already am planning on a couple of different campaigns. Actually, literally at the same time uh, for all that stuff. So it sounds like a lot of fun. Sounds like a lot of fun. We'll see. Uh, so, yep, so Japan would demand into China. So now someone says I have a terrible social score playing the Nationals Chinese. What? What? No, never. My score is not negative 900 million 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 million. Uh, we need the turrets. Don't forget the turrets too. So we can't make this stuff yet. Yeah, basically, medium turrets. There's so much you got to research to get some sort of competent navy. Um, it's not bad. We're about halfway there. Heavy batteries as well. Cool. Nice. Very nice. Keep working on it. Keep working on it. Let time go on, let everyone kill each other off, which is awesome, awesome, awesome. But after this one, yeah, I just want to get down here, renegotiate the uh, unequal treaties, anti-imperialism versus imperial legacy. Secure the peninsula. Dominate Japan. Guidance and support. Commit to Korean independence. That sounds disgusting. One China policy. Oh, wait, we already have this down here, too. But it's just easier just to go to war with them. Renounce the McMahon line. Demand Mongolia. We're doing this already. I just want to get rid of the stupid treaty. Uh, order destroyers. That's the first step to naval rearmament. A small group of destroyers should be produced. Uh, unless you don't really care about destroyers. I don't care about destroyers, I'll be honest. Destroyers are okay. I mean, I'll use them on occasion. Oh my gosh, Soviet Union, really? Free... Oh, well. Thanks, America. We don't have enough convoys for that. Holy smokes. It's alright. I mean, I knew we were going to have to import stuff anyways. That's why I'm not too concerned about it too much, really. Yeah, tactical bombers would be good to get more of. More anti-air as well. We got plenty of guns for a while. That's why I want to get rid of free trade. We're forced to do free trade, which sucks. Yeah, yeah, we get it. We're questioning Mongolia. They're doing stupid things. Uh, stable economy? Yeah, it's worth it. Getting more consumer goods is totally worth it. Look at 15 and 11. Nice. Very good. And this coffee is very good as well. Yeah, with the AI here. Hmm. We're going to need quite an air force. And getting more ships will help us build more convoys, too, so. Actually, train first. Radio interception group. Go and do that, too. And we'll grab order destroyers. How lovely. Followed up with light cruiser project. Coastal patrol is not bad. Heavy cruiser. The first step in creating incredible blue water navies and modernize the cruiser fleet. Our first project should not be too ambitious. What? We're not going to build, like, capital battleships yet? What the heck is wrong with you? All right, so we don't need that many divisions. So we're going to cut you down for now. So Y'all are going to go right there. You're going to be guarding the coast for the rest of the campaign, basically. Good luck. Have fun. Cool. Cancel an aggression pact. If the barrage attacks, that's not good. That's really not good. Uh, let's see. Tanks? Those aren't tanks. Armor divisions? Those are tanks. So don't lie to me. And everyone else from Guangxi Kli goes bye-bye. Because we don't care. We have garrisons. We took got rid of those cavalry garrisons as well. It um, doesn't really matter whatever we throw on there. Template 7, goodbye. We only only really need a few templates, that's it. Um, yeah, overall, like, I guess the war with J the Japanese is the main thing here for our focus. Everything else is kind of like a side thought, sort of. There you go. Keep making infrastructure, too. That's important to get. Basic medium batteries are good. We need secondary turrets before we start investing into this ship here. These two ships, these are not bad, actually, at all. I highly recommend using them. Um, can we import some more rubber? No, not from those people. Yes. Basic every batteries. That's good. Uh, we need some of this. Oh, we need some of this. Yeah, I'll focus on the cruiser first for now. After this one, it's not bad. Invisible ink's not bad either. 1942. Okay, to focus a little more tanks. Not really super necessary. We'll get some logistics because fighting in Asia sucks. It sucks. As you might already know. So, good. Anything else here? Region-wide integration would be bad. Political actions don't care. We get currently 1.74 political power every single day. Chinese power struggle. I wish there was more for us here to do. There's really nothing else to do once the war with the Jap Japanese is sort of over. And now we're going to go ahead and get some more resources. Thank you very much. Uh, we could grab that. It might as well. You know, might as well at this point. Artillery is looking phenomenal. But nah, then again, these guys are only 14 combat with. No wonder we got so much artillery. We're not, we're not using thick boys. And using thick boys for Asia is a terrible idea, but we're going to do it anyways because it's vanilla. There we go. Uh, support anti-tank is fine. You guys 
He thought supply was bad before. Oh my god, it's going to get so bad now. Um, let's do this as well. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Fight the common turn. Have a good old time. Lose a bunch of supply. That's why we're getting logistics companies right now. You know, even though Italy's basically, like, destroyed, they... Actually, the Allies are pushed out of France. Somewhat. Somewhat. They're still holding their line against the Soviet boys. Oh, hello. Yugoslavia's coming back. I'm gonna make it a really... Oh, now we're out of artillery. Look at all that artillery we need. That's a lot of artillery. Uh, actually... Ooh. You know what? Let's duplicate this. My bad. I should have duplicated this earlier, but... We have so much army XP, it doesn't matter. Um... Game. Or we'll do this one, actually. Duplicate it first. There you go. This is going to be cheaper, maybe. Maybe not. Um, let's go with normal infantry. Go with normal infantry. That's fine. Go 10 combat width. We give them a lot of S support and stuff like that. Like that. There you go. Coasts. Here, just convert yourselves. I don't want to use 40 combat width divisions for that type of stuff, so... Um, honestly, you probably don't need that anymore. We're already maxed out on that stuff, so... We need some support equipment, we need some engineers, we need stuff like that for the Coast Guard. So now instead of 26,000, we only we need, you know, 12,000. A lot better than what we actually had, so. Guard, guard. Do that too. Nice. Very good. Order destroyers. A light cruiser project, yes. The first step in creating a blue, credible blue water navy is to modernize the cruiser fleet. Our first project should not be too ambitious. It is what it is. Train Marines, that'd be nice, but to a heavy cruiser project? With the success of our previous cruiser design, we can scale, scale it up and improve its performance, creating a more, uh, more capable ship to defend our fleets. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> I'm not sure what else to say to that, just yeah, pretty much. Because right now, what are we doing? We're going to be done with this, which is nice. Some of that, too. Can we actually build this yet? Like, is it going to be, like, of some sort of redeemable quality here? Like, there's a battery twos, and that's not bad. We have no radar, god dang it. Use armor two. Okay, that's not too bad. Uh, no, no depth charges, which actually really sucks, but whatever. Torpedoes. I don't like torpedo ones if we can actually throw on. Like, double, like, cruiser batteries, maybe, just because. It's fine. Good enough. That's actually not too bad. This itself is not too bad. There you go. Save five. Need a couple more convoys. Uh, get some of that, too, because we can. Cool! Should be able to go relatively soon-ish. Resource-wise, I want to build ourselves up a little bit more in terms of actual infrastructure. Industry is nice and all. We need more artillery, of course. Ah, uh, school, go boom, boom. There you go. Why not? Why not? All right, we'll see what happens. Supply is really bad, though. What else is new? All right, let's move in. Nothing but a lot of infantry. We're gonna lose a lot of guns. Uh, sure. Fascist powers of the world, why not? Oh, do we win? And now they've been called in too. Yay! Yay! Oh, oh yep, that survey's gone. Kind of figured that would happen, but whatever. Mining commission? Sure, more resources. Sounds really good to us. Anything here for supply? Probably not. Addition wouldn't be too bad, but... Why not? We still have fourth conscription. Oh, nice! I'm not sure why we really need that, but okay. Now, this should really help help the Axis, like, stay in line a little bit more. Since, well... The Soviets have to transport all the forces east. Oh, my gosh. Oh, Italy's a... Oh, my gosh. You all, oh, holy crap. Are these guys out of... Are they out of anything yet? They've got plenty of manpower, of course. We can't really tell. Gotta keep working on our intelligence agency as well. God dang it, they're sinking our stuff, aren't they? It's alright, whatever. Rubber, import from Vichy France. That's good enough. Steel, men from America. All from Hungary. And Germany. And Vichy France. That's good enough. And Sweden. Yay, we still find a way to make this work. Japan, now we're good. They reject Hungarian demands. Pretty normal. Nice. God dang it, Frenchy France. Good enough for me. Inclined belt armor cruiser scheme. Uh, passive sonar. We actually might be able to build this up to be something respectable now. Even though I don't even know we're going to use it. Probably, honestly, probably not even going to use this. 
Mm, let's go battle cruiser. God dang it, we don't have enough of that. Oh, we're not making it then. God dang it. Now they can push through here too, I think, but whatever. Since we're here anyways, you guys do this too. We're gonna need some serious support companies. Yeah. It's fine. It's fine, whatever. Uh, British Raj, it's fine as well. Grab some more steel. That's why I want to get out of the stupid agreement as fast as possible, because it sucks. Ah. Get at least one from these guys, that'd be fine. Five is okay. It's not really worth five. Mongolia's decided to show up really now. Oh, yes. If we can, that'd be great, America. No one likes communists. Actually, let's take a look at the casualties. Oh, Italy capitulated. Romania's lost a lot of guys. Germany's lost quite a few guys, but so is uh, the Soviet Union. Nice. See what we can discover about them. That'd be great, great, great. War measures, war bonds, scorched earth tactics, pro war propaganda. Eh. Germany is desperate to hold on. Light cruiser project, heavy cruiser project. With the success of the previous cruiser design, we can scale it up and improve its performance, creating a more capable ship to defend our fleets. Very good. Yeah, we're just bringing people out of the stock, which is nice. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, we're out of convoys too. Well, so much for getting steel. That's why we gotta get out of this stupid agreement. Because it is so god awful. Cancel Lemley's, huh? Well, we'll do the best we can. Let's get some extraction stuff then. Oh, we've already been working on it. Oh. Still can't do too much with that, huh? Can't we? Uh, sp uh, the sport equipment, 3.1 thousand is not too bad. That's good. Oh, good. We're going to get that one next time, too. It's good. Good, 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 good. Okay, see, they're pushing through here, too, which is not ideal, but there really ain't much we can do. The Japanese have just capitulated. Oh, we need engineers. Um, the Philippines, which is not good either, but whatever. We got lots of bodies to throw at the enemy. Not bad. Not bad. Once they, these guys go over a little faster and higher, faster and higher, wherever they end up, like, we should be able to push in. Oh, look at Mongolia. Nice. Thanks for the guns. We're going to need them. We're really going to need them. Uh, let's keep working on this stuff, too. So do they have a lot of equipment or what? Oh, they got quite a bit of uh, infantry equipment. Other than that, no. They have anything else. It's good to see. It's good to see. Y'all doing okay around here? You guys just keep moving on up. Keep taking more land, territory. It's good stuff. Good stuff from, for us. Yeah, we want to get rid of that one as fast as possible. Naval aviation. The future of naval warfare is aircraft carrier. We will never be considered true naval power unless we possess carriers of our own. Pretty much. Pretty much. This looks really bad. So what I'm going to do here... Hmm... Yeah, they they're flooding through here, so we got to do this. You are going to do the exact same thing as before. You're going to do all this good stuff. All this fun stuff. Oh, Japan still owns Indochina, huh? Cool. So you do all that stuff. You're all fun. Go to the coast, too. You need more divisions than that. But you, on the other hand, are going to head on over here. You're going to actually go to war. You're going to do some funky stuff. And you can become really thick and heavy. So be it. Whatever. Uh, there you go. More civvies. So we can trade them more. That's the really reason why we have these things. These civvies are just needed for trading away stuff. That helps us out. Rubber... Aluminium, as some might say. There you go. So these divisions are 10 combat width, which is fine. There you go. Have a home. Cool. You done with that one? Cool. Mm. God, I want to get rid of this thing so badly. Could get a limited conscription. Of course, to go to total mobilization as well. We'll produce more. 
We're currently on what? 3.5. That's not bad. Not great, but not bad. Hmm. Our advances are definitely slowing down since earlier. But then again, these guys have no equipment either. Oh, well, they do have infantry equipment, but that's pretty much it. Brute force our way through the Soviet Union while the Germans are still alive. Well, they're alive for now. Oh, the fall of Hong Kong again. Prob probably again. Castle Sonar is not bad. Got some more infantry stuff, too. Need more steel. That's pretty normal. Heavy cruiser projects. Naval aviation, thank you. Fall of Cairo, very good. Well, not very good for them, but whatever. Yeah, finding land war in Asia is really not ideal. Cool. I mean, you guys are doing okay-ish. Not great, but okay-ish. What else we got around here? Anything else? Scorched Earth? That's just not worth it. War bonds would be nice, though. Armor stuff. Oh, screw it. Just go total mobilization, maybe. Chief of the Air Force. Not really worth it. You get more political power, you lose air XP. Hmm, not bad. Naval stuff is kind of worthless right now, too, though. But after this one, hopefully we can do this one, right? For too long, the Westerners have dictated how we should conduct business inside our own borders. Their citizens are protected from our laws, and we have no say about how they do business in our cities. This must end. We will stand as equals to them once again. Not a bad idea. We can go straight up here. Let's get some limited conscription first, and then we'll do the other, other law, too. Really bad idea doing it like this. Go build ourselves up there first. Oh, more resources, yes. Well, that's not terrible. Could be a lot worse. Barnall. Yeah, they're out of guns now. That's nice. Actually, that's really good. That. The Allies are closing in on them, but at the same time, the Soviets. If they have no guns like us, they can't really do much against us, can they? Hmm. No, they're okay there. Ooh, that sucks. They actually have to use convoys, huh? Well, I don't really want to use convoys for that type of stuff. Honestly, if I have to, fine, I'll trade Japan. So be it. Why not? I mean, they're out of... Wow. With us fending the war with the Japanese, the Japanese come back with a vengeance and just went straight through the British Raj. Wow. You guys are slowly winning around here, too, which is not good. We lost quite a few guys. How many have we killed off? A little less than they killed off of us. But these guys have been... These guys should be much more industrialized than us. Let's so go and rearrange this a little bit. They're attacking us. You all hold. Enjoy yourselves. Don't die too much. Let them just waste themselves on our line, because we're looking very, very bad. We have way more, art really, guns, too, and artillery. It is 42, so just keep working on that for now. That should definitely help us with our supply situation right now, too, so. Tricky. I thought I left this on historical. I know I did. I know for a fact that I did. But, I guess we'll see what happens. Especially once we do ne renegotiate the unequal treaties. Well, everybody... It's 1944, August 16th, and we're looking pretty big. Um, honestly, not much has happened except for a few things. Uh, Japan went back to war with us. They just randomly declared war on us, and we've been fighting them. As you can see, they've got a couple divisions all around here in China, but they literally just... I just peace out with them because they we had the option for them to surrender. That's how we got Southeast or South, Southeast Asia, Southern Indochina. Um, as you can tell, I've been pushed... Japan took out the Raj, and I've been pushing into them, but... Uh, yeah. Uh, well, we've literally peaced out again with the Japanese... Italy's gone. German Reich is taking a lot of casualties. We're still trying to fight the USSR. Um, the Allies are... Well, they've been doing so well in, in Europe, which is kind of surprising. They did capture Paris once, but then they were, they were pushed out, so... But they seem to be coming back. So, all, overall, like, not really much has happened. I've done a couple more focuses off-screen. Um, let's see. I we're doing the Taiyuan Arsenal. The Taiyuan Arsenal is one of the few places in China where, which, which can produce heavy weaponry. We should expand it to supply troops with artillery and other weapons. We've done... Oh, actually, this one was auto-bypass as well. And the turmoil that followed the revolution. 
A number of areas broke away and attempted to form their own states. Some merely ceased to listen to the central government. Others pretended that they were sovereign states. And again, strengthen it as we are now. Oh, we will publicly declare that we lay claim to the old Chinese boards that stood for centuries before. So, uh, yeah, honestly, like, there's not a ton here for us to do. Um, we're not going to go back into the war because I don't really feel like it. Uh, we're just, we're out of guns, but... Oh, oh well. Also, when the Japanese went to war with us, we were offered to be in the Allies, so I'm like, okay, sure, why not? For this campaign, we'll join the Allies, because... Whatever. So we're fighting the Axis as well, just to let you know. We are fighting the Axis. Uh, we're still going to build a carrier, but we're not going to. Uh, a couple other things that we've done as well is probably War of National Liberation. No, I think we were the last time. War of Anti-Imperialism. So when the Japanese went to war with us again, we did War of Anti-Imperialism. With the lands free from oppression, we can now turn our eyes on the enemy lines to ensure that no invasion will ever be launched from them. We've also did that one, New Life Movement. The four virtues of morality, honesty, justice, and loyalty will henceforth guide our citizens to a better, more productive life. Free hospitals. A great nation does not leave her citizens alone in the time of sickness. A great and comprehensive health care system we will ensure an improvement in the overall health of her population. They will rally to defend it. And rural schooling. A well-educated population is key to modernizing a nation. We cannot rely on a small a handful of educated administrators, but to need to carry the spirit of knowledge of, and science into every village. Fortify Shanghai. I think I wrote this one earlier, but if Japan attacks, first blow will fall on Shanghai. We must be prepared. Hey, got more He's nice. Because we're out of guns. We're out of so many guns and artillery pieces. It's not even funny. Um... Other than that, uh, what's going on here? Luxembourg is gone again. Well, goodbye, Luxembourg. Have a good old time. A little bit of lag, and then boom, there we go. Cool. Evacuation stuff, prospect resources. Honestly, just going to grab all that stuff. It doesn't matter at this point. Um, we've been just trying to build ourselves up more, 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 but... I don't know. I mean, after, like, really, the, the war against Japan is the biggest thing here, so that's why this is the end of the campaign. Sort of, like, just because... I'm not supposed to go to war with Russia. And um, we're not doing great. We're not doing bad. Um, let's take a look here. Soviet Union, they lost quite a few guys. It's 2.2 million from us. Uh, we're in the Allies. We've lost about 1.5 million to them. Well, not bad. The German Reich, we've not really killed since we don't even have a border with them. Uh, look at these guys. Oh, do they actually make... Oh, is this an encirclement? Oh, this actually might be an encirclement. Of course, Turkey did join the Allies, which is very ahistorical, but whatever. Yeah, the Germans aren't looking too good right now, so we'll see. You know, the Axis is doing really well in Asia. Or not Asia, Middle East, which is very weird, but... All right, whatever. And also, Siam's in the uh, co-prosperity series. Go figure, but whatever. I mean, my goal is just to capitulate the Soviet Union. Like, they're like, they're barely, like, halfway. Like, this is kind of ridiculous. I'm not going to lie. This, this is pretty ridiculous. Uh, Ty, do you have anything for us? No, not really. Um, oh, extra delegate. It wouldn't be too bad, actually, to get. Any of y'all have anything? I don't mind getting adaptable if we ever get that, so... One of these guys already has it, which is pretty nice. Uh, I had to expand how many people were over here, too. Just so we could defend and stuff like that, but I think we'll be okay. Uh, another one, yes. Zhang Ting, yes. Zhang Ting. Very, very good. Very, very good. But after Fortify Shanghai, Interparty Coordination Council, Judicial Yuan. I don't, I don't mind. I don't really want to go Democratic, though. Control Yuan. Examination Yuan. I like the stability and remove ineffective bureaucracy. That's the only way to do it, which, I'll be honest here, I think this, this Focus Street needs an update. I think they're updating the Polish Street, too. But... It just seems like this needs a serious update. China, I wish there was more options for China. I mean, it makes sense why they can't do great sometimes. But, like, what happens after you win the war? That's my question. Because the Germans are still marching to Moscow. Like, the Soviets have got to be out of equipment. I mean, I mean they're not out of manpower either, but, like... I mean, look at that. That's pretty bad. The German Reich? They got some artillery. They don't have any infantry equipment either. And they've got a crap ton of manpower, so... Yeah... I don't know, man. And we're still we're still trying to fight in Siberia, basically. But overall, looking not too bad. I like the, how big China is. China number one. National is China number one. I should really put that out there. Build a carrier? Now nah, we good. Do we have any ships? We do have two ships. What was that? Wait, why do you... Pretty sure I told him to train, but... Alright, whatever. Uh, no, I'd rather not fight the Japanese anymore. I'm tired of fighting the Japanese. I've already fought them twice in this campaign. I think two times is more than enough in any campaign to fight those guys. Yeah, but after Fortify Shanghai, the Chinese Hindenburg Line, our German advisor has given us many useful tips on how to build fortifications learned from the Great War. Any attempts by the enemy to break out of Shanghai will shatter on these fortifications. Not bad. Uh, public recognition of the Liberian government in exile? Hmm. In the United States is just called U.S. It's kind of, it's kind of sad. Just, now, oh, now you're going to fund the Navy, huh? 
Hello. Look at that. Oh, man, the Allies have been putting some serious work into France. Nice. Uh, no, we're good. Nancy Wake, huh? Christina Skarbek. Sure, why not? You look attractive. Slightly attractive. We'll take you. Actually, how's resistance doing? Oh, we want total mobilization as well. Even though we're not demobilizing. And we have a third ineffective bureaucracy. We still have 2.6% of eligible core population. Yeah, half a billion. That's a lot of people. I don't know if you knew that, but that's a lot of people. Return territory to Japan? What the heck? No, 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 no. Oh, we're, that, we went so far. We're going to take out Stalingrad soon. Nice. The Germans, come on, take Moscow. If you take Moscow, oh, we took Vladivostok. Come on, guys, come on. Oh, oh, Bulgaria was in the... Oh, oh. Huh. These guys are doing really well against Turkey. They're doing the Allies. How are you guys doing so well here? And then just just kind of stopping. I know you don't have guns, but please, for the love of God, do something. Ooh, since we're here, let's keep doing this. Can we do an... Uh, also, we became a spy master as well. Can we... Yes. Can we please... No, we cannot. Dang it. I'm looking to make... A collaboration government. That would be very good. To do that, though... Infantry Civil Administration... Uh, might be too late to, maybe. Maybe we have to do civilian economy stuff? Yeah, maybe. We'll see. I'm not entirely sure. That would be really beneficial for us, though. Really beneficial. Nice. War of anti imperialism Can't really do much about that right now. Oh, well. Focus so much on the Navy, too. We didn't, didn't really get to use it. Oh. Not looking too bad. Italy's been dead for a while. Oh, they're invading what was Austria at one point. What if I Shanghai? Chinese Hindenburg plan? Or 60 divisions plan? Instead of relying on the massive body to solve the problem, our foreign advisor proposed a radically new plan. A smaller force of highly trained divisions to match the enemy. A pilot project's already been started. Which, that's nice and all. But I don't think you see how expansive we've already become. Like, I'm not a great Hoi 4 player. Look at how many guns we're out of. Holy crap. But, like, I'm okay. I do decently. But, my goodness. Please. Please. Just win. Oh, we cut these guys off. Oh, that's nice. We finally cut these guys off. That's so good. So good. Oh, my gosh. That's way too little infrastructure. Holy crap. It's so bad around here. Screw those factories. Get more infrastructure. We need it. Um, Ruzi Nazir. I'm sorry. Nazi Ruzer. Yeah, come to Georgia. There you go. Or Armenia, whatever it's called. I don't know what it's called. Um, yeah. Capture separate. Oh, Moscow's falling. Yay! Yay! So that should help us out quite a bit. There's 83% of the way there. The more the Chinese have killed these people off more than anything else. Well, maybe not. We can't tell because we're fighting the Germans as well. Of course, then again, as soon as we open the line here, we're going to fight nothing but German soldiers, which will actually still be very good for us. Like, we can start pumping our efforts against them too, which is... Probably pretty decent. Um, once we get Leningrad, it's over. Because we already have Stalingrad, which is nice. And they're still at 83%, 84, 86. And we get the Caucasus. Oh, that'd be so good. So good. No, Mexico, I'm not joining you. You're a bunch of crazies. Alright, start getting these guys too. And. Oil, I guess you might as well. Having five research slots is pretty nice. Yeah, well, that it'd be smart to invade a port. Hey, at least you got the port. Nice. Good job, guys. I won't take any of Germany just because I don't feel like we deserve it, which makes sense. Um, over here. These both suck. This one sucks way harder, though. You get way less range and way less deck size for carriers. Cap ships do even less damage. And this one's pretty bad, too, but it's better, but it's still not good, but I'll still get it anyways. Ah. Jesus. How are you losing? They're only German. And you have air superiority? How are you losing? They just don't want to push out of Italy. There's no one there. Yeah, there's no one here too. Just heaps of Chinese bodies trying to push their way. Literally all the way. To literally Europe. And the Allies are like, eh, we'll get there maybe. We'll see. Alright, Chinese Hindenburg Line. More radar. Eh, Sevastopol. Oh! Oh, I forgot about Sevastopol. Germans got it. Oh, they're done. They're done. So, 
3.2 million casualties. The U.S. has even killed a, th a thousand Soviets, which makes sense. Okay, so there we go. So now we're feeling pretty good. So we'll do. We'll be slightly fair here. Poland deserves nothing. I'm just kidding. Eh, maybe we'll give Poland a little bit. They're going to still be dead. And, oh, okay, never mind. We can't give anything to Poland. Well, the Rack is going to get a lot of this stuff because they honestly deserve a lot of the European parts here. Even though we take, we'll get all the Asian parts. So, um, how far do we want to give them stuff? Because they got, they earned, they definitely earned a lot of this stuff, so they can have a lot of it. A lot of the Ukraine. Even though they're not going to be able to hold this for very long, which is fine with me. Whatever. Um. We have to get Moscow to um, all of this area to Onega. Onega's up there, huh? Our Congo's thinking that's as far as we're going to give them. Because realistically, we were getting pretty darn close over here. Um, I'm not going to give them Azerbaijan, though. No, 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 no. This is fair ish. We take, we take Stalingrad, though. Here, they can have this, too. There you go. We'll be generous. There you go. We get everything else. Well, communism has been defeated, my friends. Chinese communism, regular uh, regular communism, communism special, communism extra, has been defeated. No commies in this campaign. Well, not that any any more alive. Okay, actually dismiss operatives. I didn't realize that you can actually dismiss operatives. Oh, there's a fat X there. Cool. Well, now we got a bunch of Nazis to defeat because we're in the Allies. Good old Chinese people are in the this here alliance. Patrick Lay Firmer. Uh, you bunch, you, you, Juan Pujol, even though you, your name is Juan, but you're British and you're German. I think you'd be Spanish or something like that. Hispanic at all? Hmm? No? Okay. Oh, you actually took, no, you ain't gonna get Baku, you son of a rock Nazi. Oh, boy. Oh, that's gonna be interesting. Uh, how strong are they? Can we actually get the cipher done for these guys? Construction repair. We got plenty of manpower, just like the Soviets. Oh, uh, they got tons of artillery. No infantry equipment, which is nice, actually. I want to capture their side for the... Oh, Operation... Oh, what is this? Gunner's side? Oh! They've been producing heavy water in the planet of Norway. Possibly connected to a program that had developed an atomic bomb. Even the heavy water produced is not enough to enable them to build such a weapon. It would be no doubt greatly help them in the research. Civil administration. Classical intelligence. Orchestrated coup. The draft for regime change. A few good, reliable people with proper support could topple the rotten structure propping up the Siamese government. Huh. Oh, crap. Look at all these guys for garrisons that we got. Nice. Go ahead and train if you need to until you're dead. And, yeah. We got enough guns for that? Oh, we have a... We actually do have enough guns. Wow. We just got a lot more artillery, which is normal, but whatever. Actually, what about resources? Did we get anything here? No? Hey! Oh, my gosh. Switzerland joined the Allies, too. That's good. So now they're just going to push out here, too. Yeah, I think it's it's over for the Germans. I, I, I could be wrong about that, but... You never know. Nope. So... Hmm. You guys have done a lot of damage to them. UK has lost a lot of guys. It's pretty bad. Free France has lost a lot of guys, too. But France is back now. Uh, Greece has lost 400,000. The US has lost 2.3. How? How? 1.7 against the Germans. Well, they cut off 1.2 million. Okay, so now we're fighting the brunt of the German army, probably. Well, a large brunt of it, but... Yeah, I apologize for this campaign being so short. I didn't imagine it would be this short. Um, yeah. Not sure what else to say about it, just because... Like, Vanilla moves fast, compared to, like, a lot of other mods, like, especially, like, Kaiser Rack or Kaiser Redux, but at the same time, I'm like... There's not a lot of here. The content, there's not a lot of, like, focus tree stuff, so... Just six, and I don't, I don't like this part of the focus tree. You don't have any options, like... I know that we're nationalist China. It doesn't want to make sense for us to go fascist, or anything like that. Or even really communist, but happened in 1945. But at the same time, like... I'm not saying I necessarily want a lot of wacky stuff to do. I would, like, more... Stuff to be available there. But then again, who am I? I'm just a guy on the internet. And even though Paradox does know about me, because they did reach out to me, wink, wink, nudge, nudge, about doing stuff, but hopefully someday I can. But, still. Develop the Hanyan Arsenal. The Hanyan Arsenal has been long supplied the Chinese armies with guns. Expanding will ensure that this remains so in the future. Yeah, come on, guys. How can you not push into here, man? Don't we have air superiority? America's pumping out plans like there's no tomorrow. Alright then, whatever. We have no planes either, but whatever. We got a lot of the busy owns, but still. But still. We got butt stills. Y'all keep training, y'all keep going. We're out of artillery. Medium tanks, eh, we're not gonna get in this campaign. 
Don't want to see them. Don't want to see this either. Uh, scout planes. I don't like seeing scout planes either. Nope. Jimmy should be close to being out of. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, they're still fighting on the eastern front, which is nice. But oh, go there! He cut these guys all off here, which would be very good. Um, Yugoslavia do be looking kind of thick. How can you not win here? I just don't understand. Why are the allies so stupid? I get it. These guys are honestly probably 40 combo with, but still. Better planes are nice. I mean, it, it's, it's bad when the Chinese are able to push all the way through Asia to get to this side of Europe. To get to Europe. If you just go there, you can cut all these guys off and kill them. Come on, guys. Please. I guess I'm trying to navel invade there. Nice. That's good. Good tactic. And circle and destroy. Oh yeah. Just massive Chinese bodies just trying to kill off all these enemies. Oh my god, please win here. Please. How can you not win here? They lost in Hamburg, huh? For that naval invasion. Norway's coming back too. And it's oh my gosh, the infrastructure is so bad. Supply is so bad around there. So I'm gonna go lost against some Nazis. We're not even on the scoreboard for them. God dang it. How about for us? Well, he lost 229,000. Definitely not killed that many of the Germans yet. Definitely not. Trying to. There you go. Keep it up. We're only out of artillery, that's all. And probably planes. But we did take their oil. So oil is good for us. We're very good on oil right now. Very, very good. Also, we did. We were able to go to limited exports as well. So it's very good. Um, Supply-wise, keep the supply high around here. Super important for a good supply. Super, 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 super important. Push him back out. Oh, yes, America. We'll take some combos. We'll take some artillery pieces as well. Slowly pushing through Hungary. E. Yeah. Hmm. Look at them allies. Ain't doing much. Chief of the Air Force, well, might as well get air superiority, I guess. Come on, just just go here. Go here to their AI, please. You go here to here too, or you go here to here. Oh my goodness, please, AI. I know you're dumb. I know you're dumb. But still. Oh, oh, that's oh, maybe maybe not so oh, maybe they are still dumb. French tanks, please. Just assist down there. There ain't much you need to do, just just assist. Or you, British people. The 855th Infantry Division. You're 20 combo with, but please. One tile could, could literally end the war. I mean, you almost did it here too, but come on. Come on. The AI is so smart. In OA4. Some of the most genius AI we've ever seen. It's going to take the Chinese, the Nationalist Chinese, to push well, so many bodies. Just to move heaven and earth to kill off the Germans. Their tanks are not looking very good. Can we actually pierce their armor? We can. We don't even have anti tank. Now we're good, guys. How many divisions have left? 251? We're, are we on the scoreboard yet? No. Dang it. That sucks. Where are you all at? I, I bet a lot of you guys are actually coming from this. Oh, well, maybe not. I don't know how much around here, huh? Keep training for now. My goodness. We, we, we're getting Sevastopol, though. We're getting Sevastopol. Theodoric Tuffin. Whatever it's called. How can you not push into Austria? Allies, please. Please. Do something. You made an encirclement here. You're not even exploiting it properly. I mean, they're, they're literally starving. It's a probably 27 combo with division. Yeah. 9, that's 18 for infantry, and then 3 is 3, so it's 27 combo, which is weird. The AI loves 27 combo for some reason. We're so far. We've almost got a Kharkov already. We've broken out of Crimea. You know what's bad when the Chinese are in the Crimea. And odds are they're not supposed to be there. 
But Hanyan, yes. But we can still do... We can't do mission to Germany. But we still can do the mission to the Soviet Union. We literally just killed them off. I do not understand. So what is this whole uh, 60 division plan? Instead of relying on the massive bodies to solve the problem, our foreign advisors propose a radically new plan. A smaller force of highly trained divisions to match the enemy. A pilot project has already been started. Bolster our ranks. Well, I'll be honest, man. We've got... We got quite a few divisions here. We went so far, we're going around them to beat them up. How much more? How much more? Seriously. Okay, we killed 661,000. That's not bad. Roughly doubled our casualties that we've taken from them. Please. R this is the wrong direction, allies. It's up here. Up here. Or right here. Or right here. Or over through Sassburg. I wish they took out that division finally. But oh my gosh, please. When they said the Germans were fighting on the Eastern Front, I don't think they meant they were fighting Chinese people. Why did you go to war with Iceland? Why? These guys have got to be out of all, all equipment. Makes it for anti-tank. Artillery's gone, looks like. Maybe not. They sold 2,000 of these ones. Um, Gun-wise? Can't say they got a lot. Manpower? They got plenty of manpower, which is weird. But whatever. After the Hanyan Arsenal. Uh, I don't know, we can do this stuff, but it doesn't really matter at this point. Like, we're done with this. We can go back to World Japan, but there's really no point to it. We already have Indochina too. Guidance and support? That wouldn't be too bad. Commit to Korean independence. Indian cooperation. Influence Mongolia. Well, we already killed them off. Conquer Tibet. Integrate Tibet. Renounce the Mahan line and demand Mongolia. We already did this stuff, you know? So, yeah. I guess we'll just do inter-party coordination council. A first step to turning a country into a functioning multi-party democracy and any of the necessary tutelage of the people will be an organization that allows other interested parties to have their say in policy making. I, I, I guess. It's not very historical. Well, it's May 1st, 1945. And we're not even close to, like... Berlin yet. And again, I don't think the Chinese were in Berlin in 1945. I think they were struggling in China still. Okay, at least they're trying. At least we can say and see that they're at least trying here. They're failing. But they're trying. That's why I cannot let up the attacks. We cannot let the Germans... There's an... Oh my god, there's an... AI, please. Oh no. Ruzi Nazir has been captured. We must rescue him. Or Nazar. What a dirty Nazar. Oh my god, you let him break out. Holy crap. Okay, the AI is so incompetent. Oh my goodness. Please, we've killed off almost a million Germans. Almost a million. If God wanted us to have the Chinese take out the Germans historically, he would have said yes. We It's so bad. We developed our own light cruisers in Crimea. <laughs> How does that make sense? That's how long it's taking. Guys, you don't need to send divisions this way from little Asia to walk over here. I already did that. Just go over here to Europe. Ulm. Ulm or Stuttgart. Please, take one of these two tiles. I do kind of feel bad for the Germans, but at the same time, oh well. We're not fighting Helsinki yet, but... Still. Oh, Hungary is about to capitulate. Please capitulate, Hungary. Mabu Fang? 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 Well, we're gonna fail this one. Oh, they took Budapest. Nice job. That's not bad, actually. Um, where's the capital now, though? Oh, Cluj? Something like that? Why are the allies so dumb? I mean, honestly, we're moving pretty darn quickly considering what we have here. We're doing pretty okay. Um, if that's the case, we got more than enough army XP at this point, and more than enough equipment to make these guys, like, just like racetracks. You know what? We're gonna do it like this. Get them all motorized. Get them all juiced up on drugs and stuff. I know the Asian captured, god dang it. Well, that agent can wait.
It was Ison. They can picture that Ison, but not, not anyone else. Uh, since you're here. Oh, you're fine down there, huh? You up there? Cool. Happy guys. Welcome to your promotion. Alright, so. You guys go over here. Um. I mean, I'm going to try to do that, anyways. You guys, you guys. Where are you at? You should be able to speed through here, hopefully. Should have made more as a little bit sooner, but whatever. Eleven more divisions, nice. Nice. Still have Hanyan Arsenal and a party coordination stuff. Please just go, please. Speed, speed, speed. Go to carrier. Now we okay. And then judicial yuan four. Dr. Sun Yat-sen envisioned a modern republic with a separation of powers. Our judiciary needs to be independent of outside influence and decide cases based on law and the law alone. Why do we don't like the law? Did they finally do it? Oh my gosh, they found. Sort of. Not really. No, they didn't. These guys can still walk over here. Barely. Just barely. Look how much like territory we've taken compared to them. This is so sad. We're almost in flipping Poland. Force it. Got the naval bombers. Guess we need more guns now, huh? Too, huh? It's fine. We got plenty of space here in China. God dang, we got so many agents captured nowadays. Romania's looking pretty bad. Hungary's pretty bad. Slovakia's going to die soon, hopefully. How many Germans have we killed? 1.3 million. Not bad. Well, we've reached Romania now. Quite sad. That sucks. Would have liked to make it in a sickle there, but whatever. You win there, maybe? Yes. Go quickly, go quickly. You can maybe encircle these guys, perhaps. No, yes. Yes. Defend. Attack. We're literally in Poland now. God dang. We've got 1.4 million. We're taking two thirds of a million casualties ourselves. Come on, come on, please. Right there is fine, too. Oh, that's a lot of guys. Agent, agent injured, okay. Oh, it's got everyone rescued. So it's weird because when you get it gets bugged like that, but you can rescue everybody pretty much. Uh, no, we're good. Actually, what are you doing for ciphers? We're still trying to do the Germans. Oh, Japan. It's going to take a while to do that. Any partisan stuff? Sure, why not? More political power? Guess chief of the Navy? Sure, why not? I'm never going to get that one done, but that's alright. Don't think this is how it was historically. I could be very wrong, though. What? Well, this is doing a front-wide attack, and yet there's... How are they losing? How are they losing? Look at all that green air, man. So much green air. And they're doing resistance suppression. Adolf, you are just too strong for these guys. Nothing there. Air Force is looking pretty okay-ish. Compared to ours, at least. All don't serve. Anything else around here? They should literally be out of everything, right? Even artillery, maybe? Yes? No? Oh, yeah, no, they're running out. They're running out. It used to be 2,000. What happens if you throw a bunch of Chinese bodies at the problem? We're out of artillery completely. We're completely out of guns, too. <sighs> Another one captured, huh? Well, you know what? There you go. That should help save us on guns just a wee bit. Okay, how many guys are getting captured? Did you guys get captured together? They might have.
Tune up, we'll be in the Baltics. Oil processing is very nice. Do we... Do it already? A harmed mission. Okay, there you go. Commence. Engineers, get some more logistics just in case. Less fuel needed, but still. Snaking around here. Oh, two divisions have gone bye-bye. Nice. This is the saddest attempt I've ever seen the Allies try to do anything. We're equal in terms of casualties against the Germans. Honestly, at this point, we're just going to take everything. I'm sorry this is taking so long, guys. This is so stupid, though. They should have capitulated by now. Where are the nukes? Yeah, I know they have to focus on Japan as well, but, like, bro. Where are the nukes? How are the Germans able to hold out against this, man? It's not even core territory. They got tons of resistance, too. Yeah, it gives a few more millies. Anti-partisan stuff, nice. Keep getting some more stuff. Inter-party coordination. Judicial one, yes, yes. Followed up with legislative one. The ability of the people to elect a body to make the laws that govern them sits at the heart of the modern republic. Our nation must not be found wanting. Which? Nope. Hello? No? A warning to Japan. How... Great. Oh my god, the allies are ruining this for everybody. At this point, I'm going to use Khan's commands. Because the allies are screwing this up. They're, look at all the supply they're taking up. Oh my god. Allies. I hate the allies so much. Please stop sucking on our supply. We don't want you over here. I should have never joined the allies. I should have never joined. Oh my goodness. This is so bad. Like, this is taking forever. You know what, I'm going to do some funky stuff off screen. I'm going to force the allies probably just to do okay and they would stop sucking up our supply. Well everyone, in the end, I just decided to use Khan's commands and delete most of people's armies, including our own. Whoa, would you look at that? Well, there goes the army. Because I wanted to be balanced just like everyone else. I deleted like all of America's armies, all of Germany's armies. I got, I'm sorry, like I got sick and tired of this. Like, this grinding is stupid. When Look at all this. You know how laggy this becomes? So, I got tired of it. We would have won eventually, but just just... It's taking so much time. This isn't, historical is not very historical when Turkey joins the Allies, when China beats the Japanese, and Korea gets liberated and is completely unified. Like, and also I deleted France's divisions, like I deleted the UK, United Kingdom's divisions. I just got sick and tired of it. It's boring. It doesn't make sense for Germany to be able to hold out against the Soviet Union and all of the Allies, especially after Italy falls. That literally makes no sense, but... We could have won in the end, fair and square. It would have taken me another year, but I've, well, this video's already gone for over an hour. Like... There's at some point you get tired of it. You get kind of tired of grinding, 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 grinding. But that's going to be it for this campaign. Um, overall, it's pretty much what I expected. Uh, we didn't have to do this, but oh well. Germany should have fallen so much. Look at that historical factor. But regards, if you enjoyed the campaign, leave a like, subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow in another campaign. Thanks for watching. Have a tremendous, tremendous, tremendous Chinese rest of your day.